Good morning. Here we are at our home and the cows are enjoying their hay. Something that we <clears throat> need to learn a little more about is raising calves in the winter. So we are trying to hunker down our babies, which are over there, um, into a little warmer space here. So we're taking... And we get these blankets for free. So we're using these old blankets um, against this edge here because the wind has just been crazy lately. Um, so sh she just hammered um, that in there. And then we'll go in here for a second. We tarped the whole front off. It's been really windy. It's 8 degrees here. And it's really windy. And we hung a lamp in here to try and warm them up a little better. They're actually three and four months old, but there's no big cows in there with them. So we are going to um, try to get them in here and get them warmed up. So do you guys want to go halter them and try and bring them in here? So one of them is halter trained. The other one is not. She was with her mom, and her mom, um, I think she got a twisted stomach, and she was our dairy cow, and um, she died. So we had her with the big guys, but they were kind of bullying her. So we're going to make this even more interesting, because even though I have salted this area here it is still a sheet of ice literally it is like uh, sliding everywhere i always think it's kind of funny you know people are homesteading and they think that everything is just easy and you know i'll i'll be out in the kitchen, you know, making a lovely breakfast while the animals kind of take care of themselves. But this is a reality. Things happen and things, animals need to get moved and water's frozen and you have to defrost it or um, just crazy things in winter. So here come the babies. Oh, good idea. So this is our Daisy who was born here. This Summer. She is a Holstein Jersey Hereford Cross. She looks a lot more Hereford. She's like, oh, okay, wait a minute. That is ice. Come on, Daisy. Come on, pretty girl. Here we go, Daisy girl. Look, it's gonna be nice and warm in there for you. I know, you're unsure. Yeah, huh. Oops. And he went sliding into home. He was all spunky, ready to run and have fun and kick his heels up and went sliding right in. Now he's not quite sure. He says, I don't know. It is slippery out here. Go slow. I'm going slow, so I'm not going to slide into home. Let's see. Just make sure the light's up high enough that they're not going to kick it up. Aww. Daisy girl. Are their water still full? I'm going to bring those over here. Or Is that fresh hay or no? I don't know. Is that fresh hay, Josh? I tossed it, did I? Okay. 
So, Josh, you want to go get water? Shane, can you get a pad of hay? Yeah. Thank you. So, we're hoping they actually had a lot of space over the other side, and they're getting cold, and their water is getting frozen, and it's just a mess of things. What we're hoping is to keep them in a smaller space. So their body heat will just kind of snug them, snug them in together that they might warm each other up. What do you think, Daisy? I'm watching the other cows. Look at this. You see that one cow? He's like scratching himself off of the tree. Isn't that funny? <laughs> like rubbing each other up off the tree. Scratching. That niche over there. And they have um, a lot of space there. They have you can probably see the pasture goes to the driveway of the other house. Um, that's all on electric and the snow isn't high enough right now to get to them. And our junk pile of pellets that got frozen in the ground. And then they have pasture out to the tree line back there right now. Right beyond there we have a pond. So our goal is going to be to fence that pond in. See before they had all this area back there. I don't know how well you can see it. And it was just too much. They weren't able to keep their it was hard for their body to stay warm over there. So I think they'll be happier in here. Hopefully the wind will die down. It's been really windy the past couple days. <clears throat> so they look content. want to get that little bit of green when they can have that green. Let's see, here comes Josh with their waters or their water um, right there. It has a little bit of, uh, sorry, it has a little bit of molasses in it this morning because yeah, that was frozen. <laughs> And honestly, like this has been sitting here for a while, but in the morning time, sometimes that's just how it is. We have to, we actually bring the calves their water from <clears throat> inside the house because it's just frozen. <clears throat> Trying to fix the bucket. And we give them like hot, hot water so that, because it will be frozen in no time. I think I'm going to put the water maybe over there. You guys want some grain? Yeah, you can have me down here. Mm -hmm. The black one will eat green. The other one won't. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do with this water hose as I camera the light bulb. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't really want that right by the door opening. Did you take a little? Good boy. There you go. It's the first time he actually ate grain. He's still on a bottle. There you go. That's a good boy. Want some more? And we're just graining them for their um, their body fat. Once they get a little bigger, then we don't need to. I wonder if that would fit in a tire. What? That bucket of water. So, I think we're going to sign off. I'm going to go get a tire for this... Um, 
bucket I'm going to try and just set the bucket into the tire it kind of insulates it more especially if you throw some hay or straw or something like that in the do you want to get a bucket or, no? or a tire or no you want to feed them okay Josh is going to go get it so I guess we're okay what do you like about cows Cheyenne <laughs> Daisy likes you. She says, what do you have? It's so cute. Look how furry they got for the winter. They got their little winter coats on. Daisy likes to give kisses. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in your lap. That's a good boy eating some grains. That's a good boy. Good boy. Mm -hmm. When you're homesteading in your um husband is still working you know you just take on whatever needs to be taken on I think that's one of the things if you're looking at homesteading you can't um, you have to be prepared to do whatever needs to be done whether it be you know things around the house or you know taking care of the animals because they are in need or whatever it might be Here comes Josh with a tire. I hear him. Thank you. So, what we're going to do is put the tire down and then we're going <clears> to <throat> shove some hay in the cracks of this older stuff like in here. She's okay if she wants some water, she's all right. Here, I'm gonna shut this off. Wait, I need my glove off. 